افلا يتدبرون القران ولو كان من عند غير الله لوجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا فلا يتدبرون القران ولو كان من عند غير الله لوجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا I've witnessed that myself few days ago a teacher a bible teacher in the trinity school in one of the major big universities in the US he embraced islam he's been teaching in the trinity school for over 20 to 30 years something around that much and he just, it took him one night to read the Qur'an. He met a Muslim student and he asked him, what was your religion? The Muslim student didn't have much to say because of the language barriers. He just gave him a Qur'an. He took the Qur'an. He said to me that once he opened it and started reading it, he spent the whole night reading it. And then the next day, he had already decided that he would embrace the beautiful way of life, the religion of Islam. But he decided to wait till he finished the whole Qur'an. Two, three days he finished the whole Qur'an, even though he was reciting it, reading it in English. But the meanings of the verses had overtaken him. And then at the end, he embraced Islam and he became one of the Muslims in this ummah. So this is a miracle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us to recite it and to ponder over it and to act according to it. The same thing, a sister sent us an email and she was studying and reading about Islam. And by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, she embraced Islam also a couple days ago. So it's all the praise and thanks is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a living miracle for people to see and they read and they ponder over the meanings of it. And this is all what we need for people to open their hearts and to come and to read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to have this ponder with seeking the truth. The truth is out there for people to recite, for people to get to know and having this truthfulness in their hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most wise, the most merciful.